Welcome everyone to a deeply unsettling yet necessary episode. Today we're diving into the top five ways digital pickpockets are trying to swipe your hard-earned cash. Now, I know what you're thinking, isn't this a bit heavy for a YouTube video? And to that I say, have you seen the price of everything lately? Protecting your money is serious business. We'll be sharing real-life examples that'll make you want to hug your bank statements and whisper sweet nothings to your online passwords, because knowledge, my friends, is power or at the very least, it's a decent firewall against financial ruin. Let's start with the classic phishing scams. Imagine this, you're scrolling through emails when BAM! A message pops up seemingly from your bank with a subject line like urgent account verification needed. These emails are like that friend who invites you to their totally real pyramid scheme. Avoid at all costs. They're designed to trick you with official-looking logos and language, leading to a fake website to steal your login details. Think of it as the online equivalent of those dudes in movies who wear a cheap FBI vest and suddenly everyone's like, oh, right, you must be legit. Your bank already has your information. They don't need you to confirm it by clicking on a link from a random email. If you're ever unsure, go directly to your bank's website or give them a call. Stay smart, stay safe. Next up, a scam so audacious, it deserves its own wing in the Scammer Hall of Fame fake checks. You receive a check in the mail for a suspiciously large amount or a job you didn't apply for. They'll ask you to deposit the check, which will initially appear in your account and then quickly ask you to send a portion of it back. Why? Because that check is as real as a unicorn riding a Segway. By the time your bank realises it's fake, you've already sent your own money to the scammer. The lesson here, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. And if a stranger sends you a check out of the blue and then asks for money back, run. Run like the wind. Moving on to a scam that's as sneaky as it is infuriating card skimming. This one takes us to ATMs and gas stations. Picture this. You pull up to your local ATM, card in hand, ready to withdraw some cash. You go through the motions, enter your pin, grab your cash and go on your way. But little do you know, a scammer has rigged the ATM with a skimmer, a tiny device that copies your card information. Gas stations aren't safe either. Those card readers at the pump, prime real estate for skimmers. You think you're just filling up your tank, but you might as well be emptying your bank account. Be vigilant. Check for any suspicious devices attached to ATMs or card readers. Look for anything that seems loose or out of place. Trust your gut and find another place to do your banking if something feels off. Stay alert, stay safe. And buckle up, buttercups, because we're entering the digital danger zone, online banking fraud. We live in a world where we can order groceries, find a date and argue with strangers about politics all from home. But this convenience comes at a price because where there's online activity, there are hackers lurking like digital vultures. They're using phishing scams, malware and other tactics to gain access to your online banking accounts. Once they're in, it's like giving a raccoon a key to a casino, utter chaos. They can drain your accounts, make unauthorized transactions and even steal your identity. Protect yourself with strong, unique passwords and enable two-factor authentication. It's like a security guard for your account and trust me, you want that digital bouncer on your side. Finally, we arrive at the last stop on our scam-busting tour, investment scams. If someone promises you ridiculously high returns with little to no risk, they're either a liar or they've found a magical money tree. Spoiler alert. Magical money trees don't exist. These scams often come disguised as exclusive investment opportunities and prey on people's desire for quick money. They'll use jargon, fancy charts and testimonials to lure you in, but it's all smoke and mirrors. The reality is, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Legitimate investments take time, research and scepticism. Before you hand over your cash, do your research, consult with a licensed financial advisor and remember, if it walks like a scam and talks like a scam, it's probably a scam. And there you have it, folks. The top five banking scams exposed in all their nefarious glory. Scammers are constantly evolving their tactics, which is just a fancy way of saying they're relentless jerks. By staying informed, being cautious, and trusting your gut, you can stay one step ahead of these digital delinquents.
Thanks for watching. Stay vigilant and protect your financial information. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more informative videos. And remember, knowledge is power.